feel banged up at the end of that game? Uh, it, was, it was just a little bit of like one of those kind of grinding series. I had, uh, you know, just you get bumps here and there. They had a lot of net presence. So, uh, you know, how you land on my head there at the end of it, but it's nothing, uh, nothing other than just another bump. But, um, that's an emotional grinding series. You know, there's guys taking hits everywhere, but uh, we got through it and obviously helps us build moving forward. What, uh, what are you anticipating out of this Toronto team? Uh, they're going to be different. I mean, um, Utica is a lot of a, you know, a point shot, net presence kind of team. You know, they generate a lot of offense from, uh, from the back end, and that's a big guy screen. I think Toronto's more of, uh, you know, a, more skilled guys, activated D coming down the walls, and then obviously uh, not everybody's just going to throw pucks on net. They uh, they look off, they find seams, they find open guys, and, you know, two pass before shots kind of situation. So a little more on my toes, but, um, you know, I think it's going to be a little more of a communicational uh, side of it between the defenseman and myself, just taking away passing lanes and trying to limit their options and just making it a little bit uh, easier on ourselves. You guys get the feeling that if you can, you know, go out there and at least steal one on the road, you'll be in good shape here for this series? Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, there's a mandatory have to win both, have to, you know, what happens if you lose both. I don't, you know, we're not going to put too much pressure on ourselves either way. They're, they're a good hockey team, and obviously going in there and taking one kind of steals one nice advantage, and that's obviously, you know, get the first one out of the way, see what happens in the second one. But, um, you know, stick to our game plan. Don't get frustrated. Uh, don't get too high if, you know, the first one goes our way, you know, but uh, for us right now, it's just stick to what we know, uh, you know, grind down the strategies here, know what we want to do moving into the game, and obviously try and execute it the best we can. What have you guys kind of been able to take away from that Utica series, you know, going forward here? I just think it's, you know, that series there was obviously five-game uh, series. You want to win it in four, it's, it's quick, and you don't have, you know, the opportunity to play in seven if you need it. So it was just kind of get out to a good start, in which we did, you know, won the first one. I think, um, you know, obviously, they, they played us hard, and that was uh, kind of what we got to do to Toronto. They, uh, they, they were hard on our skill guys, you know, both teams moving forward, you know, top two teams in, in the conference here going head-to-head, -head, and there's a lot of skilled players on both ends. You know, they had some guys in NHL all year. Year and so did we. So it's going to be, uh, you know, a battle of uh, two skilled teams and a lot of depth lines. You know, our fourth line creates opportunities, and theirs is going to do the same thing. So I think, um, you know, just just going to be a battle with, uh, you know, everything. And I think the little minimal uh, plays you know, on the wall, getting pucks in, getting pucks out, is going to do uh, do dividends for both teams moving forward.